How's it going? My name is Gary Donnelly. I'm the author of the D.I. Owen Sheen novels. The third instalment in the series, Never Ask the Dead, is out later this month. The crime series is set in contemporary Belfast, a place Lee Child rightly described as the most noir place on earth. So where better to set gritty detective fiction? In this land of buried secrets and unspeakable crimes enters D.I. Owen Sheen. Sheen is the very embodiment of the mysteries which are unravelled in the books. Belfast born but London raised, Sheen's world was torn apart at a young age by the violence of the Troubles. When we meet Sheen in book one, Blood Will Be Born, he's on loan from London's Metropolitan Police to the Police Service of Northern Ireland to set up a serious historical offences team. For all his London swagger, Sheen has no idea what he's letting himself in for. Enter Aoife McCusker, a rookie detective who is set to be Sheen's partner for the duration of the series. If Sheen is an artefact of darker days, Aoife embodies the new, more hopeful future of Northern Ireland. Keenly intelligent and fiercely independent, she's making her way in what was once a man's world. Aoife's personal life reflects the unconventional complexities of a post-conflict society. She is the modern face of policing in Northern Ireland. Little wonder that Sheen is drawn to her. In book three, Never Ask the Dead, Sheen's working hard, but the chief constable has adopted a hands-on approach and Sheen finds himself managing competing political agendas. And that's before a cryptic message from a retired and now missing cop begins to prey on Sheen's mind. The note from Tom Tucker Rogers says that they killed his friend and now, they're coming for him. Sheen and Aoife's search for Tucker and the truth places them on the path of the most highly placed IRA double agent of the Troubles. History and politics aside, the Sheen series works best at a human level. The suspense and the tension, the horror and always the love. To paraphrase a character from book two, Killing in Your Name, this isn't political, it's personal. I hope you enjoy it.